If you are always putting yourself on the back burner, it's time to make a change. Joining us with 10 easy tips to plug any leaks in your schedule that keep you from having enough time is Calendar Nirvana coach Gretchen Duhame. Gretchen, so nice to have you here. Thanks so much. Everyone wants to know how they can have more time for themselves. You have 10 easy tips to help them. What's the first one? The first one is really simple. Just go to bed 10 minutes earlier at night so you have time to unwind a little bit. So many of us have a hard time falling asleep. And if you build that 10 minutes in, it'll make it so much easier. 10 minutes is really not a lot of time. Right. So maybe just brush your teeth a little faster, wash your face quick, mm -hmm. and then that 10 minutes can make a big difference, which also can let you start your morning a little earlier. Absolutely. And so if you add that 10 minutes on in the morning and get up 10 minutes earlier, you can have time to, to ease into your day, do some stretching, whatever it is that you like to do to start your day. And it's so nice to start the day not feeling rushed too. So you wake up and you don't feel like you're having to rush right. into your day. Absolutely. And during the day, if you have a meeting or appointment that ends early, take that time for yourself. Most people rush off to the next thing. But if you just take a moment and go for a walk or make an appointment to do something you've been putting off, it's, it's a really great time to do that. Yes, yeah, so be productive in that time. Right. You also suggest to listen to an audio book or something when you're on your morning commute or right. going yeah. home. In your car or if you ride the bus, you can have your headphones on or in the car on the stereo, listen to audiobooks, podcasts, something that's really enriching. It could be learning something new in just 15 minutes a day. And it can change your mood. It can make a big difference in your day. Absolutely. Definitely. Your next tip is to reserve 15 minutes of your lunch break for a walk. A walk is really critical because it's getting your body active. It's keeping, it's keeping yourself fit, but it's also a moment for you for yourself. And uh, here's an extra tip. Keep things like sunblock, rain boots, an extra scarf at your desk so you, you can always go no matter what the weather is. No excuses, no right? No excuses. You can't say you forgot that one thing that you need. Mm -hmm. You also suggest that people make quick and easy lunches the night before the day starts. Absolutely. That's going to actually give you a double bang for your buck. You're not going to be rushing in the morning to try to put everything together, and you're not going to have to waste the time and money to grab a sandwich or a salad at lunchtime. Which can be stressful. You don't yeah. want that stress in your day, so you already have it ready and you're good to go on your lunch break and you can take that walk without rushing. Absolutely. And you say that delegating is very important too. It really is. We all have one thing in our life that we don't like to do. If it's cooking or, or <laughs> maybe it's laundry, whatever it is, there's a chore that we absolutely hate that you can delegate. It's so easy. You don't have to be rich to do it. You don't have to pay somebody. Find a way to get it find a way to get it done by somebody else. That's so true. There's so many people that want to help you mm -hmm. and they can definitely do that. Yeah. Smile. Something so oh, simple. So simple. Yes. How many times do you look in the mirror when you're brushing your hair and actually smile or if you're washing your hands? I, n I don't think I even glance up half the time. It's something that I have to remind myself to do. It's just a little moment for myself. And it can really be a great pick-me-up. Right. Think day. about when someone else smiles at you, how that feels. It feels the same when you do it to yourself. So true. That's such a great tip, Gretchen. Two more tips left. We have about 30 seconds. Use your DVR. Oh, yeah. When you use your DVR, you still get to watch your favorite shows, but you do save some time because it's on your schedule and not on the TV schedule. Exactly. And the last great. one, last. so important to remember to breathe. Just take the moment to take a deep breath, and it gets the air flowing through your body. It keeps you a lot more relaxed, and you can do everything much easier and faster. It's amazing how it's something that we do without thinking, but when you think about it, it makes a big difference. It really does. It does. Thank you so much, Gretchen. Thanks. Hopefully now everyone will have that little bit of extra time to make for themselves in their day. Great. Thank you so much for being here.